this is another real high dynamic range blend situation where I'm shooting again directly straight into the sun so it's backlight and the sky and the area around the sun is way brighter than the landscape. I have four exposures but three of them are for dynamic range and uh, two of them are the same exposure value for the background. One with this sun flare and then another with my thumb over the sun and this is something I do a lot. Uh, I'll put my thumb over the sun to take out the flare and then I can decide later how to blend those and where I want the flare to be and where I don't want it to be. Also if you'll notice between those two lighter exposures these lupin are really blowing around a lot even though it was almost windless so some have sharper lupin in some areas and some in the others so hopefully between those two exposures I can get all of my uh, my lupin sharp then the next exposure is correct for most of the sky underexposed for the land but correct for most of the sky except for that area around the Sun and then this darkest exposure is for the area around the Sun you'll notice that the exact Sun itself is still overexposed this is always a challenge for me to decide you know how far to go with pulling back the Sun to my eye when I look at the Sun that's about what I can see if it's behind some cloud layers which this is behind some thin clouds but if it's behind some strong cloud layers I might be able to see more of it with the naked eye but getting it to look right and look natural and having the right amount of brightness in the Sun is always a question so potentially I could have gone even a few more exposures darker and maybe tried to get an actual disk of the Sun but we're also not unaccustomed to seeing you know a white ball for the Sun either okay let's work this blend the first thing I want to do I think from this darker exposure yeah I think from the darkest exposure we'll see if that's the right choice later but I need to make a, uh, a selection for that skyline that hard skyline is something that I may end up needing and using later so let's zoom in on it and refine it
that's a fairly intricate blend that we just did. That's the starting background exposure and after blending it all together, a uh, combination of working with some of that flare and also some of the movement of the lupin in combination with the dynamic range in the scene.